Hi guys and welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are doing great. As you can tell from the title down below, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my wish list items specifically from christianbook.com. Love getting all of my devotional and Bible studies and things like that from there. I always find that their prices are great and the books I'm going to share with you, I believe I have, let's see here. The birds are so pretty today. Hi. Here we are, snack to our station. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to share these items with you because right now they are on sale and I ended up totaling up all of the books, what it is in my total purchase, and it ended up being almost $30 cheaper than Amazon. Um, if you are new here, I am actually a huge, huge fan and I try to support as many small businesses as I can, even though it's not always possible depending on what I'm looking for. I do try to give out the <laughs> shout outs and the recommendations to the smaller business. I wish I could have them here physically, but like I said, these are all just my wish list items. And I actually have handled them though physically because my sister actually bought them them all at a recent conference that she was at and she brought them back and shared them with me and I felt in love with them. I really, really did. They're absolutely beautiful. But anyway, let's get into it. So the first thing I had on my wish list are these Bible memory verses that every kid should know, the coloring cards. It comes in a box of 52. I thought this would be a great thing to kind of put in our morning basket and to color one, at least a new one every week so we can work on that as our memory Bible verse and everything like that. And it would just be a fun little addition to do in the morning. The next book I have is The Bible Stories Every Child Should Know. The illustrations, as you can tell, are just stunning. They are beautiful, and I thought it would be a really good addition to have on our bookshelf. Another book that I have picked out here is a book called Don't Forget to Remember, and the illustrations in this book are absolutely beautiful. It is by Ellie Holcomb, I believe, but they are so, so pretty. It's celebrate the beauty of God's creation using the natural world to remind young children of comforting truths about the Lord. Um, so singer-songwriter Holcomb explores how snowflakes point out that we're one of a kind and waves crashing on the shore say his love for us never runs out. Um, and I have seen this one actually in person and I thought it was just amazing. The next book on my wish list is Who Sang the First Song? It's also by Ellie Holcomb and it is the same thing. So who hummed the first tune? Was it the wind blowing past the silvery moon? And honestly, just all about creation, singing praise to God, and I love that, and it's a great book to have, especially if you have little ones who are now just like interested in learning more about the faith and about God and creation. It's a great one, I think. Hi, Mom. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> the next favorite is called The Moon Speaks, and this one, again, looks beautiful. One of the first pages says, The moon speaks, shining so bright, mirroring light, ruling the night. Um, again, just the poetry in this, the illustrations, just so, so pretty. Um, the next one in my wish list is the Promises of God Bible Storybook. And I love this one in particular because we have like the Bible stories and then we have like the heroes of the faith and everything like that. But a lot of the times we can skip over the actual promises of God, like the promises that we need to remind ourselves of, the promises that the kids need to reflect on as well. Good devotional book to have as part of our morning basket. And then the last two items, the one of the last books I have is called the Big Truths Bible Storybook. And again, it just goes through the biblical truths for little ones. So the first truth being that God created everything. And so that being the first truth that they go through. The story of like how God created the world and things like that. And then it goes into like a little reflection time at the end of each chapter. So it says God created everything for his glory and our good. And then it goes into some questions and stuff, which I really like. And in part number two, it goes into God's favorite creation. So it just goes into those big, big truths of the Bible, like the big biblical truths that you want your kids to know. And so I have that one. And then the last thing that I have in my favorites or wish list that I'm hoping to get for Christmas is called One in a Chameleon. And my little guy loves chameleons. He loves everything about them. And so I thought this game was right up his alley. But what it is, is there's just little pattern boards and you have the little play pieces and you have to make the chameleon completely blend in with the actual game board. And so I thought that was really sweet. Um, a really good, almost like fine motor school activity too for little ones because you're having to get little pieces to match on the colors really, really well. So yeah, that's definitely on our wish list as well. Well guys, that is everything currently in my wish list for Christian book. I typically have a lot more on my wish list if I'm honest, but I kind of narrowed it down to the actual books that I wanted to add into our upcoming morning baskets and our homeschool and things like that. However, these are also items that I really probably should save until Christmas, so I haven't gotten them yet. I'm kind of leaving everything in there and then when we get closer to Christmas, I will then go and maybe make a few purchases then. But yeah, you guys have a great rest of your week.